Hi, so today I'm going to teach you how to customize your own keyboard, and I just want to first off say that I've never bought any type of apps before, or any keyboards or themes, and themes are basically when you buy one app and then you use multiple apps to change it to your liking, so I've never done that, it's just one simple app and a picture that I got from We Heart It, so it is very simple and easy, okay? So... The first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the Play Store, Play Store, which is the App Store, and then you are going to go type in Go Keyboard. This is the only app that you'll need for this app, like at all. And then if you want like a certain picture, like of a floral print or a tribal print, then you just go to the internet browser and you type in on Google, you know tribal print or flower print or zebra or cheetah but i wouldn't recommend with a wallpaper with so much white because you won't be able to see it so say i want this one so basically you just hold it down and press save image or you can get it from we heart it and just download it from we heart it too that's what i did for my flower one that i had on so next you go to go keyboard Then you go to themes, theme settings, and then um, I actually got an app for, or a keyboard for free. It was like a black, just an all black one, and I just got it for free just because you know. But um, your thing does come with like when you first download the app. This is the one that it comes with, and this is the black one that I got for free. So um, you. This is the one that you guys are. This is the one that everyone gets when they first get this keyboard. Um, a lot of people get this app to get emojis, and if you guys do want a, um, oh no, I'm sorry. Wait, this is the regular one. Sorry, this is a regular app, or not app, but um, keyboard that you get when you download it. This is the one that I got for free. So yeah. So I'm just using the regular keyboard that it came with, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. But basically, when it goes to keyboard, or you like click anything up here, you'll see this tiny little picture thing, and that's where you want to click. And then it'll take you to portrait background, landscape background, and I just do portrait usually. So I go to albums. Then I click whatever app I want, or not app. Why do I keep saying app? Picture, sorry. So, say I just want this picture. I don't know, a random picture. Okay? So then, you can move it. Like, if you want, like, a certain piece showing, then you can move it around. But I mainly want that. So, press save. And then, um, this is usually all the way down. So, you can still see, like, the black of your keyboard. But I move it all the way to 90, or around 90. And then you go back, and then you just basically test it out. So see if it's there. And there it is. So that's basically how you customize your keyboard. It is a very, very simple thing to do. Nothing hard at all. Um, so, yeah. And if you guys do have any questions or I wasn't very clear on something, please let me know down below. I'm hoping that I was pretty clear about things. But, yeah. Um, and yesterday I got a comment on... Um, I'll actually show you guys the comment before. Um, wait one second, wait one second. Okay, it was by this girl here, and she was asking me, because she has an Apple product, and she did the, um, the emoji thing, and she deleted her app. So when you are using Coco PPA, you are never, like, you're not supposed to ever delete your app. And I've totally forgot to mention that yesterday. I'm super sorry. But um, it actually tells you before you download an app. Um, I know on mine it does. So, like, basically, say if you want, like, a cute cupcake as your Instagram app, then you can never delete your original Instagram app or else it will not work and it will ruin your phone. So you have to keep the original apps. That is for Samsung products too, but usually people never make an effort because Sam the way Samsung is, it's like they keep all their original apps in like a little thing and then like all your shortcuts are on your main pages. Um, so 
Yeah, I am super sorry that I didn't tell you guys that yesterday, but you are not to delete, like, any original apps because that's what um, a lot of people have. And, like, on, uh, and on Apple products, when you, um, when you click the, um, like, say, if, like I said, you had the cupcake for your Instagram app and you click the cupcake, then, like, your app will say, like, It'll show, like, a, like basically when you're on the internet, and it'll say, like, Coco PPA web search or something, and then it will go to your Instagram. Like, it takes, like, three seconds to go to your Instagram. So that's what I was talking about. Like, if you click on the cute app, it will, there will be, like, a white screen, and then it will go to, like, Instagram finally. So I hope that's clear now. But just remember never to delete your original apps when you're using Coco PPA or any icon changer. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, bye guys.